Well, welcome back to the channel. Uh, put the engine back in now and uh, just mocking up the, the turbo and the plumbing for that. Uh, fortunately, the hoist uh, doesn't touch the engine, so I don't have to modify that. I will have to modify these cooler lines a little bit, the top and the bottom one to fit around the engine. But that's going to be pretty simple. So right now, we'll build an adapter for this. Uh, this used to be a uh, naturally aspirated engine. It's a uh, 353 Detroit. And I've converted it over to a turbo engine. So all the components inside are turbo, uh, pistons, rods, um, valves, etc. So we need to make an adapter from the N manifold to the turbo um, manifold. So that's what we're going to do. And I've got it mocked up now so that I can take the valve cover off, get to the screws and everything, and um, easy access. So, so here we are making the adapter. Um, this piece here is old stock 3 8 plate steel from some scrap I've got and it's bolting up to this piece here so we'll drill and tap this <clears throat> when it's getting a little closer I'll drill and tap this and then finish it off um, and I'll put studs in it much like this here and then I still have to make the the bottom bottom piece for this. Yeah, I know you can buy these uh, turbo exhaust manifolds, but I've got this one. I might as well spend a few hours and build an adapter. It doesn't take that long, to be honest. <laughs> all roughed in. So I'll start working on the uh, exhaust manifold flange now. Get that roughed in and then drill and tap holes for it. So this one's going to be bolted on like that. So I'm going to pull these studs out now <clears throat> and then um, make a, an adapter plate for that. So that's what it looks like sitting on the uh, turbo housing. Okay, I pulled the studs out of the manifold and now I've just scribed out the the base for it. <clears throat> and now I'm just going to use some uh, cutting wheels and, and cut it.
there's the completed adapter. I made a copper gasket that works pretty well. So I've checked the faces and they're nice and true so it should seal. I was going to brace this up but it's really strong so I'm not going to. But um, that's it. Now we'll um, bolt it down and then try it on the engine. That's the finished product. So now I can start making the, the tubing. So obviously this is a confliction here so I'm going to cut in here and then re reinforce this section for the intake. 
And then the exhaust is pretty straightforward. Well, I hope you liked that, guys. And again, thanks a lot for subscribing, commenting, and liking the videos. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.